Step 1. Start recording. Step 2. Play the game. Step 3. Realize that you missed something in the first world. Step 4. Go back and remedy this. So no one... Whoa. Okay, this is completely unexpected. I didn't expect to see this at all. Alright, I'm definitely in the wrong place. I want to go back to the first world and solve some of that uncompleted nonsense which I had. But the doors are locked. What is this new place we are beholding? Well, I've got none of those, so I can't unlock that. But the thing is, is I'm not finished with the first world. I stuffed it up a bit. I want. I wish to go back and fix this. Oh dear. Is it actually possible for me to go back and fix what I have messed up, everyone? All these locked doors have prevented me from going anywhere. Those areas are completely disabling me from crossing them. Maybe it's in the menu. Maybe if I go to the co No, I am in the cocoon. This isn't a cocoon I'm familiar with. Wait a second, I think I've got an idea actually. If I press left and right while I'm here... Nope, it doesn't change the world I can go to. Oh no, I appear to be stuck in world number two. Can you please let me through? Can you please let me through? Can I please go back to the first world and fix my incomplete boss fight? Well, it's not letting me do that, so that's a bit of a shame. Looks like we won't be doing that after all. It looks like we'll instead be continuing on with world number two. The second stage of world number two to be precise. Alright, so this last episode we got introduced to Mr. The Green Guy. And speaking of boss levels, it looks like here's another one. We need to run up because in these types of levels... There's a horrible nastiness which is chasing us. And if that horrible nastiness kills us, or rather it'll kill us if it catches up to us. Or if I run straight forward into it. That is fantastic. So I screwed that up right at the start. Well, I didn't expect me to defeat this level on my first try anyway. I usually need to play through these levels once. So I figure out what I'm supposed to be doing or I could just continue to die over and over again all right so in case you don't know what's going on this is the second character which is unlocked he is a green flyy buggy thing unlike the first guy he has the power to connect to walls and has the power to just basically get away from the wall Without it crushing us. This is kind of hard, actually. <laughs> oh no, I did not hold down the attack button and now I'm dead. Wow, this is actually difficult. I didn't expect this game to actually show some difficulty. Phew. This will not deter us, though. So the objective is, is I need to kind of juggle my hover down and then jump up and cling onto it. Problem is, is, I get my buttons all confused and mixed up. Go around here. And we're almost to the next area, I believe. Let's just try to be careful to not kill ourselves and activate the checkpoint. With the checkpoint equipped, now we won't need to... Now this is kind of cool. With the checkpoint equipped, we won't have to start the level from the start again. Oh dear. Here. Yeah. So this is kind of interesting. I like the fact that you could go from left to right in all these different paths. And I like the fact that I'm just about to die. Or not, because I reacted in time. Yeah, this is what makes these boss levels particularly hard. You don't know what's coming up. And if you don't know what's coming up, then you are likely to die just instantly without any chance of survival. How annoying, actually. Go around here. And this time I need to be sure to jump into them. Because if I don't, then I fall down into them. Alright, I want to go back and get that. But I can't because I activated the checkpoint. Hopefully we're putting some distance between us and the rising wall of spikes. Otherwise, we're in a lot of trouble. 
If we don't get out of here fast enough, we can just have some random spikes fall down from the ceiling and crush us into tiny little um, green coloured pieces. Alright, let's try this again. Knowing that there is in fact a horrible thing coming down to kill us, let's go up this way and instead avoid our terrible demise. Oh no! There's, an well, there's more? Ah, cursed level! Well, that was just suicide, and it was quite terrible. This is actually really difficult. It's going to take me a lot of tries to get this level down patch before I can finish it without dying a single time. That brings me back to the issue of, um, of transportation between worlds. I sure hope that once I finish a world, it's not going to permanently lock me out of it. I don't think that's the case. I just don't know how to get back to the first world yet. Hopefully that's revealed to us. Expert reflexes there to just avoid the falling death. I've come to expect that from this game now. Yes, for a happy little peaceful game, it sure has its fair share of death in it. Alright, now we're controlling Mr. Blue Guy. The major difference being is that this guy can sing and activate level functionality. I knew that was going to kill me. I just wanted to see if there was anything I could do there. Huh. Any pips I can pick up? No. So let's just follow the air current. Not terribly happy about being Mr. Blue Guy because he's moderately more useless than Mr. Green Guy. But I don't have to worry about that too much because that was the end of the level. Great job, Mr. Blue Guy. You spend the entire level doing absolutely nothing, letting Mr. Green Guy continue to die over and over again, and then... When he's just about to finish the level, you take over and hog all the credits. That's just fantastic. Well done. Let's see if we can finish the next level. Hopefully it's not another boss level. I don't feel confident in defeating that level right now. Again. Plus, I don't want to spend this entire episode having to worry about that. <sighs> now that we don't have anything chasing us, we can concentrate on doing a good job instead of running up jumping from platform to platform and just being unable to concentrate due to our blind panic huh. oh damn it why did you just decide to somersault into the into the traps mr. green guy that doesn't make much sense why did you do that huh So if I stand still... No, he doesn't accelerate into them. That's a bit annoying. Alright. There looks like to be some sort of secret down here. Let's see if my intuition is correct. <gasps> How did I know? That was a less than spectacular secret. If I'm not in the correct... Um phase of the world's darkness and lightness, there's actually a thin outline of where it I can go. Let's continue to play Mr. Green Guy for a little bit and see what... Oh, great. Well, this looks fantastic. Let's try to do it. Activate hover ability. Oh, there's a platform. Well, that makes things immediately easier. Let's jump on the platform instead of trying to do that annoying little jumpy thing. Go down here. Collect all the things, pick up the seed, good thing I was Mr. Green Guy, otherwise I'd be unable to collect it, and continue upward, see if there's anything interesting up here which we need to collect. There's another seed down there, and it looks like it's another seed which I need Mr. Green Guy to get, so let's delicately go across here, activate our secondary world powers, and pick up the seed! Yeah, this game after a while becomes pretty straightforward. Problem is, is I need to wait for the platform to come down so I have a chance of jumping on it. And there we go. So jump, jump, swap the world around, and then climb up here. Oh no! I was going so well, how'd I die? I'm a bit of an idiot, that's how. Oh, there's a Mr. Blue Man Seed singy sing along song guy there. Let's go wake him up. Yeah, I'm not sure if forcing us to kind of swap and change our character around all the time is going to be that intuitive. 
I mean, the only thing Mr. Blue Man guy is actually used for these days is to activate his little sing-along song. Let's see if we can follow this around here. And apparently we can't because there's nothing but death there. Yes, we are fantastic at video games, Mr. Green Man guy. Let's continue to use you as we progress further on into the level and hopefully not die. Just take a little bit of care and use our three pips to activate something. Anything down there? Yeah, I need Mr. Blue Man Guy to sing to the platforms. All platforming work goes to Mr. Blue Man Guy. <coughs> Which I suppose is something. It gives him some use. Doesn't make him feel completely left out. Yeah, Mr. Blue Guy, you are useful, aren't you? Now let's just go further on into the level, into this new area. Whoa! Thought you were gonna crush me for a second there. Fortunately, you're not that horrible. Can I just hitch a ride? All right, that's not gonna work very well. I can't phase out and throw it like I thought I would be able to. All right, so. I think the plan is, is to somehow get atop it. <sighs> Maybe inside it, I guess, if I can do that. Yeah, that works too. So I can do the elevator. Alright, so once inside the elevator, what I really need to do is kind of wait till it comes down and then jump through it. Then stand on top of it, but screw that up and fall down anyway. <sighs> Video games. Jump, jump. There we go. That's what we wanted to do in the first place. We don't want to move to the left and right because that equals certain death. And we do want to go up here because this is a new place. Things for Mr. Blue Man Guy to sing to. But I don't have any pips at the moment, so he's not terribly useful. There is a pip up here which I can take out, I believe. And then I can decide to either stick it into the left-hand side or the right-hand side. Let's try this way. That was unexpected. Come on, Mr. Green Man, go. We can do this. Well, it's going to force me to use you anyway, so let's go. I believe there's a platform down there, so I can just happily do... I believe there's a platform down here, so I can just happily do this. Go up and around. Cling onto the wall. Deactivate the world. And go this way instead. So I want to go darkness, lightness, darkness, lightness, darkness, lightness. And then... I am not going down there and risking my life for that. I am sorry, Mr. Level. Perhaps next time... I'm feeling a little bit more suicidal... Hooray! We got the pip. Now we can collect some of the seeds which we missed. Those being some down here. And we're going to do this without dying. Alright, jump! Oh, jump! Cling onto the wall. Yay, that's what we do. Jump. Oh, crap. Well, it's not worth it to go back that way. Equipped with two seeds, let's try to go a different way. How'd you get back to that place? Oh, I see. Whatever pip you're on, that pulls you to the top. Let's try the blue man side this time. Does this take me anywhere interesting? No, it does not. It's a little bit annoying because I need to go somewhere new in order to get to a new area. Um, let's try blue and green. Yeah, that does. That works. Equip Mr. Green Man Guy and go up this way. Uh, puzzle platformers. Well, that's nice, but it's not where I wanted to go. So that was a bit of a waste of time. So blue and green is false. Now we'll try green and red. I think that's the only way I need to go left. Yep! So I equip Mr. Green Man Guy and go down this way instead. 
which is something I need to sing to. So let's get Mr. Blue Man Guy and see if he will be sung to. Oh, look at you! You're kind of hideous in a very grotesque kind of way. Can't go down there. Still missing a pip though. So therefore I can't actually progress further into the level until I find my pip. Are you going to give me one? Or are you just going to kind of sit there? You're not very helpful, Mr. Guy. You're not very helpful at all. Where in the dickens am I supposed to go next? I think I've tried all different combinations of pips, but see if I can go up this way. Let's try to use green and blue, although I swear that I've tried this way already. Alright. Yeah, I've been up there. I also think I've tried blue and red. I believe. Well, apparently not. Let's go down this way, Mr. Green Man Guy. There's bound to be some sort of fantastic pip there. And there's a guy with a ruined house. How sad. I don't have a pip to give him, though, so that's not very helpful. I'll come back later, Mr. Guy, and help you. The residential district is in trouble. People have been losing their houses and been destroyed. Not sure if I can help them though, especially not as Mr. Green Man Guy who does not have his building license and therefore cannot be legally <laughs> capable of performing house repairs. Let's try this again. Is there anything else down here? Am I kind of done with this area? I believe I'm done, so let's go back this way. Pick up Mr. Blue Man Guy. Sing to you. And miss a pip, so that's not helpful. And I'm kind of stuck down here because Mr. Blue Man Guy can't climb through wall, climb up walls. So there is something I'm missing. I'm stuck! The level has stucked me! Oh, this is kind of dangerous. Maybe I can kind of hover down here and then just jump up. I don't believe that's very healthy. I'm not even sure I can make that jump. Yeah, that looks like I'm supposed to get around that way somewhere else. If I try to jump through that, it's just going to lead to certain death. As I thought. Oh no, why did they have to introduce puzzles? Don't the game makers realize I'm mentally deficient and I'm thus incapable of solving this sort of stuff? Oh no, my poor disability. I need to get Mr. Blue Man Guy here. But Mr. Blue Man Guy belongs over here. And I'm missing a seed. And I'm stuck. Completely stuck. Goody goody. I love being stuck. What I need to do is take it out of the green one, see, and go stick it in the red one over here, just like this, see. That opens a passageway to death and despair. So let's go down to the passage of death and despair and get stuck again. It's over. We're stuck. We've screwed up. How are we going to get out of here? Wait! Seeds! What the hell? I saw them! They were flying up! Alright, we've collected one seed, which we had before. They're up there! Those damn dirty seeds! I've got no way of collecting them, though! And there's no way for me to make this! Unless I've actually got a double jump after I get off the wall. I do jump! <sighs> I've got a double jump! When I do this! I thought that I expended my double jump! 
Oh my god, is this seriously what has happened? It is, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. If it was this easy then... Yep, well, that solution was frustrating. At least that forced me to learn one fundamental part of the game which I failed to learn before. I'm glad that didn't just kill me. But I will have to just go kill myself anyway, just so I can manage to get back to this point. And I died anyway. Well, why not? I've died enough times at this point to just not be that all that phased by them. Let's go down here, collect these seeds for what it's worth. Disconnect ourselves and then jump up this way. So we can finally go up this way. Hooray! Agonizing progress and we collected a whole bunch of pips for our efforts. Let's go use them now. Why not? Stick them down there. Fix that guy's house. Go there. Get Mr. Green Man guy and hopefully get to the end of the level. My goodness gracious me. <sighs> yes, just as I thought, it opens up the one passageway I hadn't been up yet. So let's stop trying to have a spaz around and go up this way. Are we at the end? Are we at the end? No, we're not at the end. Hooray for not being at the end. Although the environment's getting a little bit hostile now. I wonder what that horrible nasty nonsense is. Congratulations, Mr. Green Man Guy. You finally finished a level without the crutch of the Blue Man Guy. I am so proud of you, and I am so proud of myself for defeating that annoying level. As usual, thanks for watching, everyone. Sure hope this hasn't dragged on for too long, and join me next time where we continue to be stuck at a very difficult puzzle game which is way, way too hard for me to solve. It shall be fun. See you all.